Well, for more on this story and the dangers of online distribution of sex tapes, let's speak to Sarah T. Roberts. She's from the Department of Information Studies at the University of California in Los Angeles. And so what protection do people have if they actually do share an image or a video online? Well, uh, in the context of the U.S., there are statutes on the books in some 34 states that are now protecting people against what is known as revenge porn. Uh, there are similar statutes being promulgated in, in the European Union and elsewhere, the right to be forgotten and so on. The problem with online material, of course, is, is, is complex. For one, once material is, is placed online, the ease with which it can be replicated and distributed is actually almost beyond measure. It's really like trying to put the genie back into the bottle once it's out, and uh, it's very, very difficult, in fact, to scrub and remove information from the Internet at all. Right, so from what you say in the U.S., there are very few protect, pr protections for people online, but in the EU, there has been this push uh, to have individuals have the right to be forgotten online, which is what uh, Tiziana Cantoni was actually granted. Right, and in the case of Ms. Cantoni, one of the problems is that the original material that was uploaded without her consent was actually essentially cut up, remixed, changed ever so slightly so that it became very, very difficult from a technological perspective for that material to be uh, pulled down online as it continued to circulate in different forms. It was, it was almost as if um, it haunted her wherever she went and, and the, the ultimate price is quite stark in this case. Is there anything that can be done to prevent things like this from happening again if you have a situation where the law simply can't keep up with the pace of technology? Well, I think you've really put your finger on it. What we're seeing here is, is a clash between the slow-moving wheels of justice and, and legislative action vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, actual, the actual sort of daily change and very fast pace of technological innovation. These two things are coming in, in contact with each other and they're very much mismatched. Uh, I'm afraid that, that my, my speculation is we're going to see more such cases rather than fewer, particularly as we see the introduction of new platforms like Facebook Live and Periscope that are opening whole new avenues of distribution of material that may be against people's consent. Uh, the truth is that uh, individuals pushing on their legislators, on politicians to affect some kind of legislative change on these corporations is one of the few mechanisms they have and they must actually utilize them. Otherwise, mm. the companies appeal to trade secrets and other opacity around their uh, algorithms that make it very hard for people to have any recourse. Well, Sarah T. Roberts, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on this from the University of California.